Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 8 assignment of the course Ethical Hacking. For the past 5 to 6 years, we have been providing solutions for various courses including Ethical Hacking. So please watch the video till the end guys. Now let's see the first question of this. Which one of the following best describes steganography? So for first question, option B is the probable solution. Hiding the existence of a message by embedding it inside another medium like inside audio video image something like that right so option b is the probable solution for the first question guys these are completely our probable solutions if you find out if we find out ourselves any solution change we will definitely update that in the comment section and you can also suggest your solutions in the comment section itself right next second question which one of the following is true about lsb steganography in images so for second question we have got three probable solutions let it let's start from last one option d it is vulnerable to image manipulation and filtering and next it would be option c it works well with 24 bit images and the other one is option a it is simple to implement so mark these three options as the probable solutions for second question guys if you are new to our channel then definitely subscribe our channel definitely like this video and please share this with your friends and classmates through whatsapp groups unofficial groups right third question so consider the size of image is like this so stored in 24 bits so they are asking the number of bytes of information that can be hidden in the image using lsb steganography so for third question so we have got the solution as 11,250 so uh, ignore this comma so 11,250 you have to type this 11250 right now let's move on to the fourth question which one of the following does not here you can see does not correspond to physiological biometrics so physiological is nothing but the face uh, the physical characteristics so how a person look like so what are his characteristics how to identify a particular person right so based on their fingerprint we can uniquely identify them and iris as well and retina as well so signature can be copied right so it is not the physiological biometric that's what they are asking so mark option d as the probable solution now let's move on to the fifth question which biometric gives the highest uniqueness for identification but is often invasive so unique highest uniqueness so voice can be mimicked signature can be also be forged and face also can be created uh, like uh, any duplicate right but iris or retina can be unique so it, it is unique actually right even the same retina will not match with the other retina of the same person so option d is the probable solution for fifth question as well next so sixth question what is the denial of service attack so for sixth question option b is the probable solution an attack that prevents legitimate users from accessing some service so for sixth question option b is the probable solution so before getting into the seventh question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs exam preparation mcqs for the course ethical hacking we are already into week 8 of the ethical hacking so we are going to end this course soon right so with five to six years of nptl experience we have prepared this so these are past nptl assignment mcqs 100 percent based on syllabus 100 percent syllabus based and huge number of 300 mcqs you are going to get huge number of 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so 300 mcqs for one person 300 only if you take it with your friends or classmates in a two to five person pack so the combined price will be 500 rupees 
combined price is 500 rupees for 2 to 5 persons the combined price is 500 for one person it will be 300 so already many students and even professors have also taken our pack so take it now itself guys so that you can get more time to prepare so mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so this is our mail id so we will let you know the payment process when you once you mail me to this email id so please share this news with your friends and classmates and form a group of two to four, five persons to get it for less individual price for group price of 500 only so such option available easy to revise and main thing validity validity will be till the exam results day no need so no need to worry about the validity and high syllabus will be covered within less time so this is the mail id mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase i will give the same email id in the description box as well so even hundreds of students and even professors have also taken our various subject pdf packs guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions seventh question a smurf dos attack works by so for seventh question also option b is the probable solution now let's move on to the eighth one which of the following is an example of denial of service attack so for eighth question there are two probable solutions the first one is option a ping of death and the other one is option D smurf attack so mark option A and option D are the probable solutions for 8th question next ninth one what is the main purpose of domain name service DNS so for ninth question option B is the probable solution to map human readable domain names to IP addresses So mark option B as the probable solution for ninth question. Now let's move on to the tenth question, the final question of the assignment. A distributed denial of service DDoS attack differs from DOS primarily because. So for last question, so for the tenth and final question option b is the probable solution it uses multiple compromised machines to attack a single target increasing scale and obfuscation right so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 8 assignment of the course ethical hacking so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel and definitely like the video then only our videos will reach more number of students and they will also get benefited like you and please share this videos with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs google drive pdf restricted link for one person 300 for two to five persons combinedly 500 so mail me to this email id so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you